And in your pure pristine state, you will not menstruate. Um, <laughs> you won't have period pain or any of those kind of things. You won't even have childbirth pain. In fact, there's been some recorded cases, and I think one of Mary's friends said to Mary once about one of her friends. Oh no, I met a woman in, oh, yeah. in Switzerland. I sat down at this little tavern with my friend, and we, my friend had just had a baby. And we just met this amazing French woman who spoke really broken English and told us the story. She had a do just one daughter, and when she gave birth to her daughter, she had the most amazing orgasm. And we had to check with her, and she said, no, an orgasm. <laughs> So, in the end, <laughs> childbirth won't be painful at all. In fact, it will be quite a pleasure. You understand? It's due to emotional injuries, the intergender emotional injuries, that these pains occur. When you release them, they will no longer be in your body and therefore your body will be able to adjust to everything that's going on inside of it. And so, you actually, believe it or not, also have control over conception. The male and the female both have control over conception without you needing to choose any contraceptive method medically. Obviously, that again is going to be something that will happen when you're in the one state. So, our desire in the end is going to be matched by our ability to control our own body and our ability to determine when we want to be pregnant or not and when you want to menstruate or not. For a uh, it's due to the intergender, inter, the, the, the transgenerational, intergender emotional injuries that are carried by the world today that are imposed upon every subsequent generation. So if we as a generation get rid of those intergender injuries, it's going to have a powerful effect medically and emotionally and physically on every single person that comes after us. Yeah, can I say on the subject of like period pain, I have found a really, um, I've always suffered very bad period pain and um, since I started on the Divine Love Path, I've noticed uh, um, how many emotions are actually linked to that about myself as a woman and I feel like it is a really multi-generational thing that we carry. So um, I was throughout the Naperson and I just feel my emotions. <laughs> so, so now what Mary's been doing is uh, not taking the painkillers, obviously, and allowing herself to feel the emotions. And it's quite amazing sometimes. She doesn't even sometimes have to feel the emotion. Like, just to identify what the emotion is and it subsides. Yeah. So I've, I've actually processed quite a bit of emotion around my identity as a woman and shame and all in that period of time. Sorry? Same goes, Same goes for menopause, My by the way. Are almost gone. Yeah, that's right. Your symptoms will eventually go as you grow in divine love and as you work through the emotions. Symptoms of menopause will disappear completely in the end, and you won't actually have menopause in the end. You'll be able to procreate at any age, and, and it will be your own choice. Hope you just crossed your legs. <laughs> <laughs> So some of you will be 100 year old in the future, having a baby. Oh no. But you won't look 100, you'll look 25. You'll feel fantastic. And you'll feel fantastic.